I don't know how to make videos anymore because I haven't made videos in so long. I haven't made a video in so long, but that's normal for me because I don't I do, am I really a YouTuber? I don't think so. I think it's really funny when people ask me like, what are your hobbies? Like my automatic response is to say, I make YouTube videos, but then I can't even, can't even remember the last time I made a YouTube video. So I just feel like a liar and I don't want to be a liar. So let's just, let's just say I'm a person who occasionally talks to a camera and then post those things on the internet. Before I say anything on this video, I just want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers. I didn't officially do a thank you video or anything, that's just not how I, how I roll, but I wanted to say it nonetheless because a thousand people, over a thousand people at one point or another in their life said, hey, I want to consistently hear what this person has to say on the internet. So, shouts out to y'all for, you know, joining the club and, uh, subscribing to my channel, that's super cool. Although I haven't been creating content regularly on this channel, I have been creating uh, content pretty consistently on SoundCloud, which is where I do my podcast. I've talked about my podcast a little bit on this channel. It's called the Make It Happen Podcast. Basically, the podcast kind of started out as um, something that would like kind of complement my YouTube videos. But over the past few months, I've really developed a better vision for the podcast. And um, it makes a lot more sense to me because the podcast is called the Make It Happen Podcast. Um, so I've just been kind of bringing on people who are quote unquote making it happen in their lives, whether it be with music or art or um, I had one of my friends who's like a stand-up comedian come on and talk about uh, what she does with that and so I've just been bringing on people who are not just saying I want to be a musician I want to be a screenwriter but people who are actually doing those things already even though we're still in college and we're still trying to figure everything out asking them questions about their lives and about their art and just kind of see like how do they do it how do they make it happen even though their dreams don't really seem quote-unquote practical um, to society's standards. I think that if you guys like my YouTube content, you'd probably enjoy my podcast content. So, all that to say, I will have the link to my podcast down below. You guys can listen to it. Um, there's about like 16, 15 or 16 episodes out right now, and I'm gonna upload another one this week. I've never asked for money on the internet, ever. <laughs> But there is a fee that you have to pay for SoundCloud um, to have so much uploading, like, time and space. But I started a Patreon so that I can continue to upload content on SoundCloud. It's weird asking for money on the internet, so if you guys can't or don't want to, it's cool. But if you listen to the podcast and you like it and you're like, hey, that's something I want to support, you have a means to do so. So please uh, go check that out. Wow, I talked a lot. I was gonna, I was just literally just gonna say any questions, but it's not like you can... Since I do have like a lot more subscribers now than I did when I last made a video, you guys probably have some questions for me. So I will make that my next video, uh, a Q&A video. So yeah, you guys can ask me questions in the comments or you can tweet at me, at Celeste the Best. I'll put the link for my Twitter down below. Uh, no, just same shameless self-promotion everywhere in this video. Yeah, if you want to ask me questions about film, music, uh, interests, uh, college experiences, I'll be more than willing to answer those for you. Um, I think that's all I have to say for now. Yeah.